With the release of season three a couple weeks ago, one of the lethals received a massive buff. But with the Simtex and Frag Grenade meta we've had for so long, it was hard for people to realize that a new lethal meta was even possible. I'm talking about the C4. If you remember being able to chuck a C4 like a frisbee, well, you could easily do that again and much more. There is a massive but, however, C4s aren't just broken on their own. You need to know how to use them. That's why today we're going over exactly how to use C4 to minimize gunfight losses and to maximize getting those juicy warzone dubs. Let's get into it. Okay, we're getting straight into it today. So I'm in a plunder match right now, and let's go ahead and just see how far you could throw the C4 without any perks to help your throwing, essentially. So let's throw this one real quick. That one went a solid 14 meters, generates around 13 to 14 if you're not moving or jumping or running when you're throwing that C4. So let's see what we do if it, oops, didn't mean to throw that up. Uh, let's see what you do if you get a running jump there. So a running jump, nice throw, 25 meters. So that's basically the furthest you're going to throw it without strong arm. And that's really far. I mean, you could see that C4 is quite a distance away from me. If you're playing this heady right here on the stairs, someone's far, you throw a C4, you blow them up. Very easy. And that's without strong arm. Chad, if you don't know what strong arm does, it essentially makes you throw any lethal or tactical equipment mad far. So you'll see, we'll go ahead and grab this perk package which has strong arm on it. It's the first one, the guy with the bicep doing whatever. Uh, look how far. So strong arm, you'll probably notice uh, when you grab perk packages and stuff like that off the ground, you'll have this white trail behind and that's strong arm. So you'll see how far you throw smoke grenades with it. I mean, I just launched that. I mean, that's a solid 70. I don't even know. That's a lot of meters, bro. I don't know meters. I don't know the metric system. So let's just keep it coming here. Okay, so this is with strong arm, no moving, a 22 meters out of it, and that's without moving. So basically, the furthest throw you can get with running and jumping, that's without moving with strong arm, which is insane. We got a whole team running up in front of me, and my restock needs to go ahead and give me a C4. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back like nothing happened, and we're on a slightly elevated beach, but it'll still work the same. So we're gonna go ahead and do our running jump, which we didn't do before. Keep in mind, the regular was just a 22 meter throw with strong arm, that is super, super nice. So this is a running jump and throw. We'll go ahead and see how far away that is. 35 meters. I mean, you could see from here to that C4, you could barely see how far I just threw it. And we'll talk about why that's so good here in just a second. But what do I mean by that though? Inventory management is a skill in Warzone that everybody needs to have in order to win games consistently because there's a big inventory system. Now, the game wasn't always like this. Back in Warzone early days, like for Dansk and Caldera, it was just run around and loot, and your backpack was just the things that you had on you, not the stuff that you stowed into your inventory. I'm in Plunder right now, so generally your backpack isn't this large. You'll only have five slots regularly, so it'll essentially just look like this. But the ability to put things and take things out of your backpack quickly is what you'll need in order to use C4 effectively. The reason being is when you have two C4 on you at a time, you'll notice in my inventory right now, I've got two C4, you're not always able to get a sky detonation. And with a C4, sky detonations are massive, especially getting those 100% of the time, because generally when you throw a C4 at someone, you're gonna need it to land directly on them and explode instantly, no waiting. You'll notice I've got two on me right now. If I try to throw this one and blow it up midair, I'm hitting my use key, it's not blowing up, it's hitting the ground and then blowing up. That is a massive issue. There is a way to fix this, however, which is the only way that I've found to fix it so far. None of your settings being changed will do this. There are settings uh, currently in the game that are meant to help you with this, but they do not work properly. So don't waste your time trying to do those until they fix those. Those will not work properly. This is the only way. I've used these for the last two weeks straight now. The only way to get a guaranteed sky detonation, and I've seen no one talking about this. You'll notice I have one right, or actually, we'll go ahead and redo this. I'll show you the whole setup. So I've got two on me right now. You want to drop one, stow one into your backpack. So you have one actually in your hand and one in your backpack. Then you're able to get a sky detonation because if you have one, you're able to throw that C4 and then detonate it with the same button you threw it with. For me, that is middle mouse button to throw my lethals. I'm going to click middle mouse button again to explode my lethal. You'll see this, throw it up in the sky, boom. I click the same button that I used to throw it. Now uh, I go into my inventory, grab my other one out when I want to throw the other one, boom, boom. And when you get that down, you can get a rapid succession sky detonation back to back. That means if you are, you know, working with your 
inventory properly, doing that inventory management, which it seems like a lot right now. It'll get way easier. You're able to have a C4 on you, throw it up, detonate it, pull one out of your backpack, throw it up, detonate it. Back to back, they can't dodge it. It's a guaranteed knock, especially if there's multiple people on the team. You're taking out three, maybe four people at once with two C4 guaranteed. Always a sky detonation if you only have one on you. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to learn anything from this, if you have two C4 on you, all you do, you drop one, stow it into your inventory, put it in, and when you get another one, you can drop that one too. You only want to have one on you at a time. The amount that's in your backpack doesn't really matter. As long as you only have one in your hand, that is the, the sweet spot. And you always get that sky detonation. Keep in mind, you hit the same button that you use to throw your lethal to blow it up. So the same button you use to throw that C4, you blow it up with that one, and it works every time i promise now let's talk about usability i mean what is the the, the actual benefits using c4 over a simtex or a frag grenade and the real reason is the explosion radius you could throw a c4 anywhere close to somebody and it's going to at least hit them for plates if not break them now if you do this twice in rapid succession that's a break and a down even if they have EOD, it will two-shot them, which is a really big thing. I mean, with the massive, you know, length you could throw C4s now, especially using the strong arm perk in your first or second slot, you're able to throw these C4s massively, super far, like a football, and explode it on target, detonate it exactly when you want to detonate it, even if you have two on you. This is a massive change that I don't think is intentional. It doesn't seem like you're supposed to be able to get a sky detonation every time, but this is the fix for it. If you want to get it, make sure that you're throwing one down, putting one in your inventory, and only having one on you at a time because you'll always get the sky detonation. You're able to do so much with these. If you get it down somewhere, you throw it up, fold them. If you, you know, know there's two people on top of a roof, throw one up, break them, they get scared, one jumps off, you shoot them. There's so much that you can do with C4, and the good thing is it limits the amount of close range gunfights you're getting into in a fair 1v1. The biggest thing about Warzone is you don't want to get into those engagements where it's a 50 50 whether you're going to win you want to go in with some advantage and the advantage with the c4 is breaking them before you even start the fight you know if you see someone coming over the top of the hill chuck a c4 they're broken you start the fight you have plates on they're broken you win the fight i mean the c4 starts out even in custom lobbies we're starting to see people in professional lobbies using c4 because of how good they are it is seriously broken and this is the way to use it so if you learn anything today in the video make sure to drop a like or a comment i really would appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video without moving with strong arm which is insane we got a whole team running up in front of me and my restock needs to go ahead and give me a c4 we'll be back in just a second Contract was confirmed.